Okay, I think it's time we talk about the elephant in the room, and it's the fact that the Dole Whip was not created for Disneyland. And it's not been there since opening day. In fact, Disneyland's original sponsor was United Airlines. Mainly because the tiki craze of the early 60s had created a lot of drive for people to go see Hawaii. And although they opened a tiki juice bar in 1968, it wasn't until 1976 that the Dole sponsorship began at Disneyland. But even then, they only sold juice and pineapple spears, so where did the Dole Whip come in? Well, that's because in Disney World, they were having trouble with ice cream melting too fast in the Florida sun. So in 1983, Kathy Westfall of Dole Technical Center developed an ice cream that wouldn't melt as fast. She called it the Rodney Dangerfield of frozen dessert because no one respected it, mainly because it was just powder and water. Dole Whips hit the park in 1986 and we haven't looked back since. They are now iconic and everyone remembers their first Disney Dole Whip.